Hello and welcome to Late Night Creatures, the only late night show where we draw creatures. It's a uh, it's a good show. I definitely like the show. I'm glad you're on time. Welcome to the show. So it is a even numbered episode, which means we're back to our normal drawing nonsense. So we're gonna, as usual, just jump right in and start drawing. You know what? Actually, let's not start zoomed in. Let's start outside. Let's start with a bold shape, all right? A nice bold shape is exactly what we need. So let's get that roughed in here. Yeah, that's a bold shape. So what shape? You know what? Let's just work off of this for now. We'll work off of this for now. I actually have an idea from just that shape alone. So that's pretty cool, huh? So I think we might just make, uh, I'm seeing this as a, yes, I did get, I got a new mic. It was uh, christened, I guess would be the word. I don't think that's right. It had its uh, inaugural run uh, last week. It is a good mic. I definitely like it. So I think I'm going to draw a proud, animalistic, very like beastly, creature we've gotten fairly humanoid the past few episodes or the past couple not too far but we, we, we've kept pretty humanoid as of late and i'd like to kind of break that streak by going in for a nice just a nice animal so i'm drawing some some haunches some some nice powerful haunches right now i definitely drew that part wrong though Trying to remember how these leg muscles look specifically. So let's see. That's maybe right? Yeah, that seems kind of right. No. Dang it. Now I'm going to waste time on this. That's a thigh. I'm going to waste time on this thigh for a second so that I can just get this right. It'll be like that. And then you'll have the second one come around here. So then you can bring that muscle out. There it is. I don't even know what I was trying to do before. That was a very simple leg part to draw. And yet, I struggled with it. But that's okay. But while I'm, I'm roughing out this... Uh, creature here. I'm not doing any detail work. While we're doing this, I would like to talk about episode 50 because I have a plan. I don't have an exact date yet just because I'm not sure exactly when I'll be able to do my plan. So it may not be on a Wednesday, um, but it will be at some point around the date where it would be, which would be August 14th. It's either going to be a bit before or a bit after that, somewhere in that range. So, we'll see. But my plan for the episode, for number 50, is to do me drawing, as is the show, for uh, for six hours. Uh, that That's the lofty thing I want to go for. I think I can do it. I'm definitely going to have to, um, you know, sur survey my options and see if I can, I think I can fill that much time with, you know, engaging content, but, you know, we're, we're just going to see how it goes. But yes, the plan for number 50 is to do a six hours of drawing with different themes and games interlaced, maybe bringing in guests as I like to do every now and then for certain time slots. And that's my plan. Now we'll see if that actually works out because it very well could not. I don't want to do that. But it also very well could. So, hello. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll see how that works out. I, I hope that it works out because I think it would be extremely fun. It would definitely be a challenge worth my uh, 
uh, definitely a good ta a good challenge. And so I'd definitely like to do that. So watch out for number 50. I'll put information on the exact day. But but yeah, I drew that leg wrong. But yes, it is six hours of drawing. It'll be fun and crazy. Hopefully more fun than crazy. Or you know what? Never mind. Equally fun and equally crazy. That's I think that's kind of where this show thrives. So that'll be cool. But let's talk about this creature real quick. So he has this kind of pointer dog type stance that I don't, I want to move this. He has this kind of pointer dog stance here. I'll move this in. That I like. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call him. It's probably because I haven't gotten to a face yet, and so personality is a bit lacking in the drawing right now, but that's all right. So let's take a look at him. Flex that, and yes. So, yeah, he definitely has a an interesting look about him. I'm going to do that. That looks about right. Dang, that still, that still doesn't, that still looks wrong. Nope, you know what it is? I figured out why it looks wrong. It's because I moved the leg back, but I just counted as making the leg shorter. So that muscle looks wrong. So that's what it should be. That looks better, in my opinion. So let's see. Yeah, it, it's a bit of a centaur feel, maybe. Let's... Okay. I have a good idea. I know exactly what we should do. Uh, because it's great. It's a good idea. I'm proud of it. So let's just do that real quick. La la la. Uh, that's actually the whole Thomas the Train Face thing you said is kind of similar to what I'm uh, planning on doing here. Not too similar, but yeah, kind of similar. So yeah, I, I am planning on having just a, a face on on it here so yeah let's get this in maybe have a a meat hood <laughs> where it's a it is a hood but it's just sort of made of loose skin there we go everyone loves a good meat hood and we'll get to the actual face in a sec but let's get the rest of the shape in first so that's actually i kind of like this as being just a yeah, we're going for a velociraptor shape with this one. There he is. <laughs> okay, I like this guy now. This guy, I was I was a bit bored with this guy. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, why do I want to just do like a normal normal animal? That's no one no one likes that. We're here for creatures, but this is acceptable. I'll I'll take this for sure. So how I'll oh, I'm gonna wait on the face again. I want to add some more wrinkles in. And I'd also, let's add some stuff to this tail real quick. So there we go. It is a beautiful tail. I 100% agree. That is a good, it's a, it's a nice tail. It's sleek. I want to add some of these like ankylosaur spikes to it. So that, or that's stegosaur. Some, some of these stegosaurus spikes to it give it a bit more of a uh, rugged look here very nice and then ah oh, do we want to do arms I'm kind of digging the no arms but maybe we can give him something maybe there's some some variety of arm that we can we can give him here but I'm just not sure so while I'm thinking about it Let's move on and add some details to these legs so that they look nice and how they should. And to do that, we're just going to sort of just fold them into the body here. Not super complex, just nice and easy. Well, that doesn't look good. So let me take away those little crosses because I don't need those. I just need stuff like this. 
There it is. All right. Okay, cool. Now, uh, now what we need is a important aspect of the uh, of the entire thing, and it's um, just making sure that it has the right, you know, sort of just the right feel. It needs to have the right atmosphere, and to do that, I really think that the best thing to do at this point would be to move on to the face. We can keep thinking about about uh we could keep thinking about the arms as we're working on this face, but I'm actually going to move down to a smaller brush size, a rare thing for me to do in late night creatures to just get a very nice face in. So it's going to be a crisp face. I'm going to try and make it try and make it something that I don't think I've ever done on this show before, and that's handsome that's right it's finally time to try and draw a handsome a handsome man on this show so let's get to it i think he's going to look great but i don't draw human faces as often as i should so who knows but we'll see. This is part of the journey that we take. That It looked good the first time. And now I'm not going to be able to get it again. Nope. Okay. That's, yeah, that works. Okay. Very nice. So let's uh, move into the eyes here. He has a bit of a squint to the right one. Let's actually kind of accentuate that so it looks... I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't purposeful, but... I kind of like it, so let's uh, let's puff up the uh, this side a bit. Ooh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so yeah, and then we can just add in a a cut. See, this is what Bob Ross was always talking about. You make your mistakes into accident, or you make your accidents into into part of the part of the drawing. Now, of course, when it comes to digital, that mentality is is harder to to roll with because you can very easily undo and erase and do all that stuff, but it's still fun to have ideas based on your mistakes. And so we're definitely going to have a a nice wound here. It is going to mess up the handsomeness a bit, but I think not too much. Just enough to, you know, where it'll be clear that he's uh You know what? I'm going to do this too. That didn't work. I'm going to do this too. Let's 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 add, let's add some accents. There's nothing wrong with do, doing that. There's nothing wrong with doing that at all. You can make your mistakes into accidents as well. That is that is something you can do. Yes. I'll give him some nice sort of tired eyes here. Okay, and now we got to move on to this mouth. I think he's going to have sort of a uh, pulled expression. Maybe he's a bit wizened. So he's definitely seen uh, seen a lot in the world here. But maybe we can give him just sort of a, yeah, a pulled expression. There we go. Pursed. Very pursed. Awesome. Add in that. Maybe give him some of these as well. Can't go too wrinkly if we want to keep it. <laughs> awesome. I like this. I like this face. This is not the right face for this body. And I think that's wonderful. But yes, it is very much the wrong face for this body. Okay. So yeah, we'll do this. And let's actually kind of try and make this sort of bleed into the rest of the face situation that's going on here. So yeah, we can kind of have these wrinkles sort of pull pull up. And we can do a similar thing with having the uh those stress lines from the forehead kind of go move into the thing as a whole. And there we go, a nice inset face. 
Is there anything I can do to make him more handsome? There is. I'm going to add... I'm adding eyelashes just for fun. And no, that was, that was too handsome. Also, I'm bad at drawing those. So we're going to not do that. Uh, oh yeah, cheekbones. That is a very good, very good thing to make him more handsome. Uh, and this one, we're not going to be able to see most of it, but we are going to see sort of that, that right there. Yes, awesome. So then we can make that more of an angle. Give him that nice point. And there we go. So there's our face. Uh, it is a it's a nice face. I, I like it. Add some shadows under here. And under here. Man, this is a good face. I like this face. It's top notch. I'm not gonna make him wink. I, I, I that's 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 a step too handsome. And now for the arms. I think I finally got my idea. Here we go. All right, here they come. I messed up, but now here they are. Nice. Uh nah, I'm not feel I look, I I I see uh, I see you saying wings and I get it. Trust me. I I think that they could work. Uh I just don't know. I'm not I'm not vibing with it. So my apologies. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do this, just because I think this is the I think this is the right direction for for all of us to move in. So here we go. That was too thick. That was too thick, guys. I made him too thick. Leave your jokes in the comments below. I will not read them, out loud at least. Unless they're good, but they probably won't be. Because those jokes are most of the time not too funny. Sorry. Anywho, so we have one arm there, and it's this nice... <laughs> I like him. That's a, that's a good arm. Do a similar sort of maneuver that we did for the... Uh, for the leg. And then on this arm... Uh, should we do something different on this arm? I think I'm going to, to save myself time and energy, I'm going to have it come down here and then up this way so that by the time it's out of the fray, we're kind of just having a a bit of that bit of that taper. Uh, that Nope, that was not what I needed. Just a bit of that taper. There it is. Right there. And yes, awesome. That's a good boy. And then we add in the hands, which monster hands are great. Hands are, hey guys, hands are easy to draw. How about that? How about that art community? That's right, come get me. I'll, I'll, I'll crush you. Check it. Easy peasy. I messed up. Now check it. I I did one one line wrong because I didn't plan ahead. But now check it. Easy peasy. Easy hand. Check that out. Now let's see. Where to go from here? There are a lot of options. Because we have 10 minutes. So, dang it, that hand looks bad. Never mind, art community. You're right, hands are hard. I started, you know what I did? I have a way that I draw hands, and it usually works, but I have to start from the right side, like from the correct side, and I didn't do that this time around, and that's what did it. But now that I've done that right... There, our community. Hands are easy. Fight me. We're back. I'm sticking to my guns. We're back. 
There it is. That's what I was looking for that whole time. Now let's see. Well, he has that kind of grasping motion now. So what uh what can he have? What will he have? You know what? I don't do a lot of fan art on this show. In fact, I think I've only done it like once, but I love Pokemon. Pokemon's a great game. And so he's going to have a Pokeball, a Pokemon ball. And you know what I'm going to do? Uh is I'm going to draw him throwing out his his favorite Pokemon. And who is that you ask? I don't know. It's going to be one that I draw real quick and make up. In fact, if you guys got if anyone in the comments area that got a favorite Pokemon, you tell me and I'll draw I'll draw draw that one. That'll be the one that that I draw. That's what I'm doing. Is that clear? So I'm going to detail him while I maybe get a Pokemon that'll be fun to draw. But we'll see. I might not. Do I want to give him a belly of some kind? Yeah, I think I do. I think I want to start it here, though, so I don't have to deal with it wrinkling at all. And then we'll have it move in till it closes out the tail. Awesome. Okay, so now from here, what we'll do is... Hmm. Oh, I'll give him lines as well. Give him the nice belly lines. Because those are good. Belly lines are fun. Um, that's why Cube Tortoise... That's why my little Cube Tortoise boy has them. Because they're fun to draw. Okay, does anyone have a Pokemon? Don't... Uh, hey, look. Don't ask which one's the most complex Pokemon. I, I need one that I can draw. <laughs> quickly. So, while, again, while I'm waiting, I'll start, uh, I'll start shading them in. I'm thinking... What color am I thinking? Uh, I think I'm thinking a limish, a limish color. So we're going to do that. All right. So let's just hit this. Nice and simple. It'll be, uh, easy as pie. Okay, Brent also does not count as a Pokemon. <laughs> so that's, that's also not going to fly. I'll, I'm going to pick if... If I don't get one that's an actual Pokemon, though, I'll pick once I'm done shading. If that's the case, it doesn't have to be. But if and it is, that's what we'll do. And I know Brent has a favorite Pokemon, and I think I know which one it is, and so I might draw that one if I if I have to guess. But we'll see what happens. Okay. You know what I realized is that this late night creatures, this entire drawing just has the color scheme of a Pokeball because it has red. So that'll uh, that'll be cool. I mean, it's sorry, it's red, white, and black, which is the color scheme of a Pokemon. I zoned out while I was shading, which one it's opts to do because shading is, by far, in my opinion at least, is one of the simplest unless you're doing something like super complex it's one of the simplest parts of drawing illustrating not animating it's much harder in animating that's why most of the time whenever i'm doing something i opt not to do it because it's not always necessary and it's much more difficult because you have to stay way more consistent but with drawing it's not that not that hard and so i often will just like chill out zone out whenever i Whenever I'm shading. So we have, we have that. And uh, we have that. Also, Brent does not count as a Pokemon. Don't try and argue it. He's a great co-host. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, Spinning a Yarn, you should. It's a fun podcast. Brent and I do it. It's about telling scary stories. Uh, I don't know when the next episode's coming out. We haven't recorded it yet. Uh, and we're both going to ship off to college soon, but hopefully soon-ish. It's on iTunes. It's great. Spinning a Yarn, The Dark Descent. You find it on iTunes by just searching Spinning a Yarn, I'm pretty sure. Regardless. Okay. Well, I got five minutes. Um, I've shaded the guy. It is a shameless, shameless promo. Uh, I've shaded the guy. So I'm going to draw the Pokemon now. 
regardless of what people want it to be. And I'm pretty sure Brent's favorite Pokemon is Gengar, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to just try and my best, try my very hardest to draw a little Gengar. Perfectly on model, exactly as Pokemon intended him to be drawn. That was a wink, because I'm definitely going to make him a gross, awful monster. But... That'll be cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know when we're going to record next, but who knows. Uh, again, hopefully soon. But it's hard to say. Just we're both pretty busy people. We have schedules that we have to keep. And so it's hard to find the time to sit for an hour and then record for an hour and then take all the time to... Uh, edit and upload and so we just got to find the time so it's kind of just a uh, it'll be out when it's out so you know also here's Gengar uh, he isn't looking too gross yet but that's because I'm not finished give me give me time and then Gengar's head goes like <laughs> it's Gengar's head right basically and then he goes, uh, no, I'll, I'll try and do it better than that, at least. He goes, uh, <laughs> he's got this, uh, got this nice smile, Gengar does. He's got a, always got a big old grin. And he goes, hello. And that's his voice, canon in the Pokemon series. He goes, hello, and that's what he does. And there we have a wonderful Gengar. Uh, and then we got to add in the spikes on the back. He has the, the spikes. There's a Gengar. He's, he does. He's got the spikes. They're cool. And then what I'm going to do now is... Because it's, it's Pokemon. And they come out of a laser, basically. It, not in the games, though. In the games, they just kind of pop out. But in the... In the uh, cartoon they definitely come out of a laser and so there we go so we got that <laughs> let's see and you know it's you know it's fun what you can do if i do it right you know it's fun that you can do is you at home can show uh one specific thing to your to your family and you can ask them the age-old question Hey, yo, who's that Pokemon? <laughs> so now if anyone sees this image specifically, they'll have no idea what Pokemon's getting thrown out. But we will, and they have to guess. So who's that Pokemon? I never gave this guy a name. But we'll do that before we, uh, before we sign out. So this wonderful uh, Pokemon Master, I think I'm going to call him... Uh, well, since I've brought Pokemon into it, I think I'm going to call him Pokey... Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to call him Pokemon. <laughs> and then in parentheses, uh, sue me, Nintendo. Nintendo. And then I'm going to put in, in uh, double parentheses, actually don't... <laughs> Am poor. Nice. <laughs> More like Nintendo, don't, am I right? And on that note, now that I'm done bashing Pokemon, I think it's time to sign out. So thank you all very much for uh, joining me on this episode of Late Night Creatures. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think it was a, a fun time for kids of all ages. And not much else to say. Again, all the uh, late night creatures are archived on the channel. So if you're new, uh, you can check those out. They're all over the place. Watch out for episode 50. Six hours of drawing. Who knows what will happen? It'll be great. Not entirely planned for it. It'll be great regardless. All that said, I hope you have a great night. And this has been Late Night Creatures. Bye.